I'm not the a fool. Getting. I know that just because they needed me that day didn't mean they wouldn't make me a scapegoat the next. But I was back, doing what I do best. Believe you'll try, but no one, not even you, can kill everyone. Well, I'm glad. You know, we don't have to end this with blood. Then leave. No one defies the table. I remember once you understood that. And I remember a time when you understood the meaning of brotherhood. Enough! By order of the Marquise de Gaumont, this hotel has been deconsecrated. Step aside. Welcome to the Osaka Continental, gentlemen. How may I view service? The table has reason to believe that this facility is providing services ut qui excommunicantur. There is a grave accusation. We will require full access to your hotel. Of course. But as you are well aware, no business not even your kind of business may be conducted on continental grounds. So, I'm going to have to ask you to surrender your firearms. We speak for the Marquis. And I speak for Osaka. Your guns, please. Don't repeat the mistake that fool in New York made. Fool's talk, cowards are silent, but wise men Listen. So which one will you be? Hello, old friend. So good of you to visit after all these years. You are with them now. No. Your daughter, Mia, alive. Don't do this, Koji. Yeah. White Forest, this is Alex Vance. Do you read? White Forest, come in. White Forest, are you there? Alex! My goodness! Is that really you? Yes! And Gordon, too! Oh, yes. We've been monitoring the situation. The raw discharge of the meltdown has been focused into a coherent beam of portal energy. It's the Combine! 
They're trying to open another gateway. Yes. What you're seeing is the infancy of a super- That's why they were sending so much data from the Citadel. So that- Data? From the Citadel? In the control room. They were feeding huge volumes of data directly into the core destruction sequence. Magnuson, did you hear that? Go. Yes, yes, I'm not deaf. I downloaded the whole packet. They've been chasing us ever since. Well, of course they have. You see, Kleiner, it's the linchpin of all of their plans. Well, I can see that. I never Somewhere said- Somewhere in that sequence, they would have had to establish a connection with the far side. What you have there, young lady, is the specific contact code for the Combine Overworld. Good God. Now, if I am right about this, and I have no reason to doubt myself, you are carrying the very code Dr. Mossman had hoped to recover. Now, how soon can you get here? Well, we'll have to get our bearings, but we can definitely... There is no time to waste. We'll need to step up the launch schedule. And now, as soon as you get here with the signature data, we'll encode the satellite and get the damn thing into orbit. Get here as quickly as you can. Dad? Dad! You're breaking up! Come in! Dad, are you there? Dad! Oh, no. They're still tracking us. We need to keep moving. Come on, this way. Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo 1 access unit, right through here. Shall we? You smell it? Oh no, what's that? Oh, now what? to see at least you are unharmed, but the Alex fans, her condition is grave. We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for him. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. Show you how the antlion sensors work. Got some supplies over here if you need them. Health and ammo, that sort of thing. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, all right, all right. 
I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... I know, I know. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruptions? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Ugh, false alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! Last doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. sensor will line up if it's coming down this tunnel. More lights mean more ant lions. When a tunnel lights up, we move a few turrets in front of it. Pretty simple, eh, Doc? Hey, Doc! On your way here, you weren't followed, were you? Don, listen to him, Doc. We're on edge because this place is riddled with ant lions. The board says as long as we don't step on their grubs, they shouldn't hear us this far from the next, 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 from the next. Yeah, well, that's a theory I'd rather not test. We're down to our last two turrets, and even these are held together by the only one duct tape at this point. Nice to have them in a pinch, but I wouldn't exactly trust them with my life. Hey, Chris, you might want to show Dr. Freeman where we keep the supplies, huh? Oh, yeah. Down there by the fort. Take it everything you want, Doc. They're coming! What about it? Let's move. We gotta defend the board. They gather and unite the scattered Combine forces. So that's what we saw in the Citadel. They're sure in a hurry. They move north with great purpose. North? White Forest! We have to get there ahead of them! I know of humans with a vehicle not far from here. They will understand our urgent need. What are we waiting for?
was the radar. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyder when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground the last few months, but things would be so much faster if we had more people with your training. Hurry up, Dr. Freeman. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology, something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis, effectively a dimensional slingshot so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to be Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right up. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. 
Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the Resonance Cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Take a look at this, Gordon. Leave me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. Well, as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. you and Brain. What? You've been a spy for the Combine the whole time. W what are you talking about? Damn it. Move back, Mossman. We're coming in. Alex, whatever you may think, I assure you, I have worked to protect your father. Shut up and be glad you're still some use to us. We're going to reconfigure... The Let's get going. you did. It looks like it's waiting for us. The Combine uses a peculiar pulse-forming network with a very long rise time. It takes quite a while to recharge. So you've warmed it up for us. Good. And just in time.
sorry we took so long. I hope that wasn't too bad for you. Don't worry about me, sweetheart. Judith! I see they set you free! Not exactly. Eli! I was so <laughs> Dr. Monster. Despite its almost legendary stature, our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard that the research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential- Has Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad! Her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson, it just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combine's go-ahead, they'll soon be here to give it to you in person! I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another black place. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! An anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's what they're Certainly not worth scuttling. We're back. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Ten. Nine. We are 
Watch eight, seven, six, five, Steady. Four, Steady. three, two. still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you gonna see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment. We sure as hell did, and not a moment too soon. I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her. requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural presets. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last, What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Bree, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance your mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, 
The resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, Suda. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't... Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna... No! Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. <laughs>